Good morning, everyone. This is Amit Pabari, founder and managing director of CR Forex. As we have been discussing from last few weeks, that data in the US are coming on a negative side. Let me show you few data points which are showing further kind of cracks in the US economy. Credit card default for small lenders is at highest since 1991. Housing default has been highest since 2013. Consumer sentiment is weakest in last six months. Apart from that, debt issue and interest rate payment on US debt continues to go higher. Because of this cracks in the US economy, something Fed has done phenomenal to save the economy. On the last Fed meeting from 30th April to 1st May, Fed have announced that they are going to do QT, which they were doing for 60 billion. Now they will do it for 25 billion dollars per month. Technically means they are reducing the quantitative tightening or they are doing a sort of quantitative easing in the economy. That is the first step that they are U-turning from higher for longer stance. We are very sure that in coming days, they will go and reduce the interest rate also. Now let us understand what is the impact of this U-turn on equity market and currency market across the globe. The first impact is dollar index and 10 year yield will come down because dollar ka supply market pe bad jata hai because of lower QT. That is the reason why dollar index has come down from 106.5 to level 205 kind of level. We are further expecting it to move towards 103 and 102 kind of level. If that happens, Euro USD is going to move towards 1.10 level and GBP USD is going to move towards 1.10. To eight levels. Now the second impact is it is positive for all global equity markets. Is liye Dow Jones took support near 37,700 kind of level and it has moved towards 39,512 kind of levels. We are expecting Dow Jones will continue to move higher and it is going to touch its previous high and probably cross 40,000 ka mark. Now let us understand what is the impact it is going to have on Indian markets? If you see the Nifty chart, it is giving us a clear cut indication that it is standing near the support level. Nifty has fallen close to 700 points to 800 points in last 7 to 8 trading session because of uh, negative news on who is going to get how many seats in Lok Sabha election. But technically speaking, charts are giving us an indication that 21,900 is going to act as a strong support for Nifty and gradually it is going to move towards 22,400 and 22,800 in next 15 to 25 trading session. Now let us discuss outlook for rupee. In last 8 to 10 trading session, crude oil has fallen by 10%. 10 year US yield have come down from 4.70 to 4.5 kind of level and dollar index have top out at 106 point uh, 40 kind of level and has come down to 105 kind of levels. We are further expecting it to go down to 102 kind of levels. Despite all of this, rupee is still trading near 83, 50 kind of level because of two reasons. First, May seasonality impact where generally import payments are higher and the second reason is FIIs have been selling from Indian equity market before Lok Sabha election results. But going forward, we are expecting that RBI will intervene strongly near 8355 to 8360 kind of levels. Apart from that, global factors like falling oil and falling dollar index is going to support rupee. Short term range for rupee remains between 8320 it is 60 kind of level medium term outlook uh, remains the same we are expecting rupee to move towards 83 and 80 to 50 in coming days now let us discuss strategy for thin margin exporters like agri exporter or chemical exporters to them we will suggest that they should continue to hedge 100 percent between 83 30 to 83 45 kind of a level 
if someone wants to wait they can keep a strict stop loss of atc 25 or costing whichever is higher now let us discuss strategy for thick margin exporters like textile exporter uh, or pharma exporters generally textile exporters book one year forward contract those textile exporters or thick margin exporters who have booked forward last year when rupee was trading near 8325 they are currently enjoying or uh, as all their forwards are in the money similarly we will suggest them that between 8330 to 8345 kind of level they should continuously hedge 65 to 70 percent of their annual exposure as in the later part of the year they are going to get benefit because of two reasons first rupee is going to become stronger second depleting uh, forward premium is also going to help them now let us discuss strategy for importers importers should only focus on covering near term imports they can cover 50 percent of next 30 days payable near 83.25 kind of a level and another 50 percent they can buy uh, near 80c to 80c 10 kind of a level stop loss for importers remains at 80c 60 kind of levels with this i will end my today's presentation jai hind namaskar film lenge next week thank you